And staying with that story, earlier I spoke to Harry Kazianis. He's a director of defence studies at the Centre for the National Interest in Washington, D.C. And I asked him his opinion on Kim Jong-un's gestures of goodwill ahead of Friday summit. And that's Harry Kazianis. Thanks to him for his analysis. Let's take a look now at some of the day's other stories. Let's move to this. A Turkish court has sentenced 15 journalists and staff members from the country's oldest newspapers, Cumhuriyet, you saw the name there, to between two and a half and seven and a half years in jail for aiding terrorist groups. Also making news today, a Danish inventor, Peter Madsen, has been found guilty as of murdering and... Thank you, Zarya, there. Here's something now you don't see every day. An airplane landing on your street. That's what happened in the Canadian city of Calgary. The pilot of that small plane you saw made an emergency landing due to engine problems. No injuries are reported and the pilot was praised for how he handled the situation. Thanks very much, Rico. Let's return now to the top story that we've been following, the press con conference given by French President Emmanuel Macron, the end of his state visit uh, to the US, which was over the past three days. Our Washington correspondent...